World War I and World War II was some of the best eras for innovating weapons around the world. Some were effective, some not so much. But what about the absolute failures? The weapons that were not effective from the get-go. Here are the top five weapons that failed in WW2. 5. Panjandrum Starting off our list is the Panjandrum, which was designed by the British military and tested from 1943 to 1944. This huge contraption was originally designed to destroy beach defenses compromising Hitler's Atlantic Wall. Standing a staggering 10 feet tall, this contraption was supposed to clear the defenses and allow Allied forces to land and easily take and secure the beaches they had landed on. Consisting of two rocket-propelled wheels with an explosive-filled center cylinder, this moving bomb was designed to be let loose from the landing craft. Being filled up with 4,000 pounds worth of explosives, the idea was for it to then propel itself up the beach reaching a whopping 60 miles per hour, blowing up any obstacles and blowing a hole in any seawall clearing a path for troops. Unfortunately for the British, the Panjan drum quickly displayed flaws in the design. One major flaw being the Panjan drum went everywhere but towards the intended target. It was highly unpredictable and even had instances of it turning back towards the sea. The second major flaw was the rocket clams couldn't stand the pressure and would break too often, sending rockets flying in different directions. This resulted in termination of the Panjan drum project, preventing it from ever seeing action. 4. Krumlauf one day, the Germans thought they could build weapons that could curve bullets around corners. That's when the Kromlauf was created. How did they try to accomplish this? Well, of course, by bending the barrel to a STG-44 because nothing can go wrong there, right? This design was to allow their troops to remain in cover whilst firing at the enemy. This included in tanks and for the most part it was a great idea on paper to allow minimum casualties whilst still firing back on the enemy and to counter anti-tank infantry without risking their own lives was a great idea. The STG-44 was a fantastic weapon and had a good reputation among the troops that used it, so what could go wrong? Well, it was noted extremely quickly after a short amount of use that the curved attachment barrel would become distorted and wear out to the point of being unusable. This resulted in the bullets shattering upon exiting the firearm, resulting in it being completely useless. It was terminated shortly after being commissioned, although modern weapons have taken the design and adapted it to now suit modern weapons, resulting in more safety for police and soldiers, so not a total failure after all. Three. Mouse. The Mouse was supposed to be the tanks to stop all tanks, Hitler's ultimate super heavy tank that nobody could stop. Though not many agreed with him that a super heavy tank was needed to aid Germany in the war, Hitler still ordered for the creation of the Mouse. Being armed with a 128mm gun, the Mouse could quickly pack a punch and knock out most tanks on the battlefield at any given time. It had armor 244mm thick, being able to repel most attacks from opposing tanks, making this tank a truly super heavy tank. With the capabilities of the Mouse, Hitler had planned to build 150 of these huge tanks. But why did it fail to even reach the battlefield? The mouse ran into many different issues from the get-go. To start was the mobility of the mouse weighing in at 200 tons, the mouse could only travel at a max speed of 12 miles per hour, making it super slow. But what fully halted the production of the mouse were mechanical issues with the drivetrain, which was constantly giving the engineers problems. In the end, only two prototype mouses were ever fully built and they never met any action. Hey, digging the list so far? Why not subscribe and like this video? We would really appreciate it. Number 2. Coven Anter Considered Britain's worst tank, the Coven Anter was a fantastic design on paper. It was designed to fill in the empty gap in the British Armor Division for light mobile tanks. However, like everything else on our list, it failed, but how badly? As previously mentioned, the Covenanter was a fantastic tank on paper. It came with a 2-pounder gun and 30mm sloped armor. It also had an extremely low profile and large wheels helping it to not only go fast but power through tough terrain. But it was designed in 1939. When it came to being delivered, it would be 1941. 
What did this mean? Well, the Covenanter was heavily outclassed by other tanks that were more recent developments like the Panzer IV, making it practically pointless to deploy, but also that was just the start. It suffered from major engine cooling, which the engineers could not overcome, making the tank so unreliable that the British settled to use the 1771 Covent Anter tanks they had ordered in training only. Number 1. Schwer Gustav Finishing off our list is one of Germany's most infamous failures. Why is it so infamous? It was the biggest gun to have ever been built. The Schwer Gustav was a huge artillery gun that was so large and heavy it could only run on a specifically built railway. It took hundreds of men to run this gun and even more to build the railway. Being able to fire an 800mm shell up to a maximum distance of 47,000 meters, it seems that the sheer firepower would be enough to make this gun an incredible success. Each shell carried 4.7 tons of high explosive, creating huge craters whenever they hit, and it ran on rails, meaning it could get to a destination with ease. So why the Schwer Gustav fail? Well, to begin with, it took thousands of men and a lot of time to build a new railway each time the gun had to advance further into battle, and it took three days for the crew to construct and prepare the gun to fire. With the gun being over four stories tall, it was a huge, easy target for Allied bombers, and the worst part is the gun could only fire 14 times a day. These were huge drawbacks to the Schwer Gustav, and it forced the two guns to come out of commission within just a year period. So, we've come to the end of our list. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching.